Donald Trump's ongoing distrust of the mainstream media remains a defying feature of his political narrative. He frequently labels the media as corrupt, accusing it of spreading fake news and handling him with bias. This taps into the belief that much of the mainstream press leans progressive and distorts stories to undermine leaders like Trump. You just, you, just, you just talked about Chinese technology, yeah. the need to defend against it. Yeah. TikTok and the threat people see to many kind of American children and things like that. Yeah, but do you, you know, why, why do you no longer see you know, TikTok well, as a secure I, threat? I think it is a threat. I th frankly, I think everything's a threat. Mm. There's nothing that's not a threat. But sometimes you have to fight through these threats. You know, you can't just like Google. I'm not a fan of Google. They treat me badly. But if you are you going to destroy the company by doing that? If you do that, are you going to destroy the company? What you can do without breaking it up is make sure that it's more fair. Mm. They do treat me very badly. Oh, and he told me, no way. You're the number one person on all of Google for stories. I mean, which probably makes sense to be honest with you. I actually brave. <laughs> Most of my bad stories, but these are minor details, right? And it's only bad because of the fake news, because the news is really fake. We, that's the one we really have to straighten out. We have to straighten out our press because we have a corrupt press. Can that's I, the one we really can I, can His stance on TikTok and Chinese technology companies is also telling. While acknowledging the security risks posed by platforms like TikTok, Trump strikes a more nuanced tone suggesting that outright bans or dismantling these companies may not always be the most effective course. His criticism of Google, however, stems from accusations of political bias within big tech, where platforms have been accused of censoring conservative voices or skewing search results to promote progressive agendas. For Trump, the issue is less about breaking up these companies and more about ensuring fair treatment and preventing political silencing or defamation. Trump's use of the term threat underscores the broader concerns he raises about both technology and media in modern society. He argues these dangers should be addressed strategically, avoiding hasty actions that could harm businesses or curtail freedoms. His rhetoric reflects a populist view resonating with the belief that media and tech elites are disconnected from or actively hostile toward everyday Americans. Trump blends personal grievances, such as claims of unfair treatment by Google, with broader political arguments, appealing to his supporters' desire for transparency and fairness in institutions they feel are dominated by left-wing ideologies. The concept of a corrupt press strikes a chord with many, particularly those who feel misrepresented or silenced in public discourse by powerful media outlets. For these supporters, Trump's critique of the media and big tech isn't just about policy. It's about pushing back against what they see as a rigged system.